Hi everyone, I'm Rachel Seedorf. I'm here at Denver International Airport and today I'm showcasing some revegetation work that I've done for my thesis project um, here at DEN. So this site is a pretty, a pretty harsh site. Um, none of this soil is natural. Um, it's been stirred up, it's been brought in, lots of topsoil, and it's actually in a pit. So um, we're gonna kind of do an overview of what this site looks like. And you can see on either side of me that there are some major slopes. Um, and on my left side, and you can see that it, it's actually pretty steep and it's very um, prone to erosion, lots of water runoff, um, and it all runs down into this pitted area where we revegetated um, four different grass species. And this is a replicated site, and our goal was to pretty much show Din um, what kind of grasses would be successful in these harsher environments. And uh, across Din, we see that there's a lot of harsh environments that include um, high salt content in a lot of the soils, a lot of erosion, um, and just a lot of weed species too. So, like I mentioned, this was a re this is a replicated study. And we seeded four different grasses, including crested wheatgrass, alkali grass, um, inland saltgrass, and mini sim wild rye. And these species are known to be good at rest, um, as restoration grasses. But I really want to focus on crested wheatgrass because um, there's a lot of vari um, um, varieties of this species that are really successful. Um, they're really good at establishing quickly and very persistent. As you can see here, in the, um, we have 12 drilled rows, and you can see the really good establishment that we got two years after seeding. And I did forget to mention we seeded in November of um, 2018, so it has been two years since we seeded these grasses. And there's a, they're actually um, seeding out, which is really encouraging. Um, and this is, the scenario for this um, reseeding work um, is a little different than what we've done in the past. So we often recommend doing weed control in the spring um, prior to drill seeding in the fall. But we actually did the opposite here in this, um, at this site. We, we went and drill seeded in November and then the following spring we started doing weed management. We had um, curly dock, kochia, sunflower, um, a variety of annual and some perennial weeds. And our first, in the first year, our main goal was to just make sure the weeds are controlled and get those um, out of the system for that year to get these grasses going in the first year. And we, we were kind of a little worried in the first year. We didn't have great establishment for most of our grass species, except for crested wheatgrass but it was in the two to three tiller stage for most of the year. Um, but in the second year, we provided another year of adaptive weed management, controlling the curly dock. And we saw that we had this great response from, from the crested wheatgrass. And we believe that crested is um, probably one of, is, is going to be the go-to grass for den. They, their goal is to bring in a lot of native um, beautiful looking grass, perennial grasses, but I think this study here shows the um, reality of their situation in these harsher environments that it's just really important to get good grass establishment quickly and something that persists and crested wheatgrass will probably be their answer for this site as well as a lot of other sites across their property. So that is the overview of the study that we did down here um, in the pit. But I do kind of want to come over here and show you that um, they do have a lot of native species present at DEN. Um, you can see we have foxtail barley. It might not necessarily be a huge desirable grass, but it does establish well, as you can see. Um, and then we also have some western wheatgrass coming up. And we have a ton of buffalo grass, which is really encouraging to see. We would love a site like this to just be covered with buffalo grass, but um, this site does have, um, it, it is kind of in a pit area, so the water table might be a little higher, allowing for these grasses to be really successful. Um, but they're still establishing in a pretty harsh soil condition, um, which is really exciting to see and something that um, is at least present at Den and 
with proper weed control, they can probably strive and maybe achieve in some areas.